Welcome to a new IC station review video. I haven't been uh, doing uh, IC station reviews for a long time and um, uh, now I had the chance to pick a few products from the uh, from the new arrivals listing and I picked two products. One is this power supply module which as you can see it comes as a kit, uh, it comes with a box or well not a full box but a top and a bottom plate. And the other product is a LiPo balance charge controller, which I'm going to be featuring in another video. And I ordered these two products because I have an electric scooter project running. I'm converting a regular scooter to an electric scooter. And I want to make sure that I can charge the batteries properly, like LiPo batteries. Uh, and for that, I need a balance charger. And I'm going to use this power supply as the you know, the, the, well, the power supply charger. And I specifically picked these products because I think it has a couple of uh, advantages. And uh, following my new form of videos, let me just first talk about the pros and cons of this particular product as opposed to some other power supplies. The first one, which is, uh, was really important for me, that it is a buck and a boost converter. So for example, for a five side LiPo, I would need 21 volts, uh, is it 21? 21.2? volts to charge the batteries and I usually don't have a 24 volt power supply or something like that but because it's not only a bug but it's also a boost converter I can use my old laptop battery which is giving me like 18 and a half 19 volts and it can boost it up to 20 you know like 21 volts so there's no issues with that you can see the inputs like 5 to 30 volts the other big prones for me it's uh, fairly easy to set up uh, I have some other power supplies and on this one there is a pot for the voltage and there is a pot for a current. So it's much easier to tweak these rather than going into menus and setting these values uh, manually. And that was, uh, well that was important for me. I think for a you know, simple one it is much easier to control and it still has all the protection like over voltage, over power, over current protection. The third one that it comes in a case, yeah I mean it's not a full case, but it's good enough. Also has a fan. And probably the other cons, uh, I would mention that it is not a mains power supply, so you will still need a power supply, but uh, usually with these kits, kits, the input is, is also DC. So, I mean, I haven't seen too many of them which, where the input would be mains. But at least, as I said, for this I can use uh, like a cheap old power, laptop power supply, which I have, a f well, probably a few lying around from old laptops. The other small cons, I wanted to mention that when you turn the output off, I can't change the set voltage. So I have to turn the output on in order to set the, the voltage, the output voltage, which is fine in, in most cases, but you just have to be aware of what the voltage it was when you last used it. Uh, so for example I had it set to 21 volts and I uh, connected this LED strip and well I mean fortunately it survived but it didn't really like the 21 volts so but that's just something for you to keep in mind and just a few more words about this power supply so when you want uh, like a simple DC DC power supply usually these uh, I think it's DPS or DPC modules that come to mind which has a nice user interface and uh, and you know buttons and everything and it also even comes with this case um, this metal case I'm, I don't remember where I got this from and and again it works it does you know all the things that it's supposed to do as a power supply but again just to change the voltage you have to go into the menus and use the knobs and then sometimes it becomes too fiddly so that's definitely something that I like in this model that it's just a knob they don't provide the knobs for the two pots so I need to get that one but it's it's fairly easy to you know, change the voltage and the and the current limit and as I said I would be using this to charge these Zippy LiPo batteries 5S LiPo batteries let's have a quick look at the listing on icstation.com uh, as you can see it says um, 60 watt high power adjustable buck boost power supply module set up down set up down converter LCD display yeah so it says everything uh, you uh, in the pictures you can see the um, uh, the all the different components and then uh, one of the last few pictures shows how the the unit is uh, how the unit looks like when it's assembled because the yeah, well there is no assembly instructions so you just have to figure it out yourself based on this picture I mean you know it's not really rocket science 
if we go into the details then you see all the different features and then the, the various specs uh, about the input voltages and the output voltages and you know efficiency and some of the other details um, as you can see fan goes on if uh, if the unit consumes more than 20 watts or goes above 40 C so it never happened uh, with me for uh, yet but uh, yeah most probably will happen at some point and um, yeah you have uh, some descriptions on how the LEDs, uh, the the different buttons are working and then how you adjust the the different modes and then in here i mean it's it's a little bit hard to read the uh this uh, description but then you can also see how you can use this module to you know use it as a charger for example to to set a constant rate or for example here it talks about 3.7 volts or 4.2 volts so how you would use it to charge a lipo if that's what you want but honestly i just want to use it as a general power supply where it is fairly easy to adjust the voltage and the uh, and the amps or the uh, current limit because because of the two bots so it's uh, easy accessible you don't have to go into menus so i think it's uh, fairly easy to use and then here you see the different um, uh, screens i've shown the basic screens the input voltage and the temperature and the and the output voltage but as you can see uh, you can switch the input and the output screens uh, from amps and also to watts and then uh, these are the various messages that you would get if there is an overcurrent protection or a temperature protection or there is overpower protection and let's have a look at what we get in the box so you get this uh, brown box and there is a package with a fan and a few mounting hardware you get the main PCB which is I think already assembled yep the cooling fin needs to be added and then a few other things and that's mostly the cooling fin the that's a basically heatsink uh, and the box and yeah even more mounting hardware assembling the unit doesn't take more than probably 10 minutes you have all the parts that you need. I actually got an extra screw in the kit. Um, first of all, you take the protective layer of the acrylic um, covers. And then um, what I did first is I mounted the, uh, the fan uh, to the back or the, let's say the bottom plate using the four larger screws that were provided. And then, yeah, you just sandwich the different parts together. One set of sh short spacers go in between the, the front uh, acrylic and the and the top of the PCB and on the bottom of the PCB you have uh, one long spacer and then one sh a short spacer as well and that keeps the the fan or the, basically the small PCB which is on the top of the fan away from the rest of the electronics there's a couple of maybe you know three three four millimeter space in between so still a um, you know fairly compact structure but uh, there is enough clearance uh, everywhere and then yeah that's it that was my review of this IC station 20 watt 6 amp power supply. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.